Highlanders are in the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup following a pulsating 6-5 post-match penalty victory over a stubborn Abulawa Chiefs at Abulawa's Babafield Stadium. It was an exciting match, a derby with the best that Abulawa, if not the league, has to offer, with the Chiefs taking the game to their more illustrious opponents straight from the kickoff, but clinical finishing would be their biggest letdown. They got it right 13 minutes into the match with what should have been a straightforward serve by Errol Smander, but much to the amazement of many, Danny Dekopiri's free kick beat the Boso keeper and Chiefs were in a shock 1-0 lead. Boso picked themselves up edged on by their vice-captain Peter Mutua and their 12th man at the Foshiferous fans. It took them a mere four minutes to draw level, also from a free kicker that Andrew Mbeva expertly swung into the box for Linoth Chikua to tap home past a diving Ali Isa and goals for Chiefs. Before the Boso fans had taken back their seats, the Highlanders were in the lead with a well-worked mover that saw Melika Angube pick up El Shama Farasi on the edge of the Chiefs box. The talented midfielder then did well to link with onside Makinono Mushore, who showed great composure to slice past an outstretch to Isa and Bozo had turned it around. In one of the most memorable derbies of recent times, Chiefs were to square things up at two minutes shy of the break when Ayanda Nube danced his way around Ashford Fire before setting up Farao Matare who sneaked between Kipa Spanda and Mudua to nod in at the equaliser. It has been 18 games for Bozo in the league where they have conceded just four goals. On Sunday, it took Chiefs just 30 minutes to score half of what the entire league has managed. To all then at the break and the second half would not bring about the winner, though Highlanders had fairly good chances to finish off the match, but for some good saves by Issa, particularly in the 48th minute, when Makinon Mshore striker split the Chiefs defense opener to send Washington Navaya clear. Navaya's shot was well saved by Issa. Chiefs also had their moments, one of them in the 55th minute when Matare robbed Andrew Mbeba of possession and as he tore towards goal, he laid onto an own rushing man, Lenkos Kasela, whose shot took a deflection on its way out. Amakosi would play more than half an hour of the second half, one man less, after Kim Jospanda was shown a red card for a second bookable offence after impeding Amakino Nomshore as he made way towards the box. Substitute Calvin Chikonero back after an injury layoff should have done better in the 74th minute after Chiefs keeper Ali Issa spilled the Mshore cross only for Chikonero to ascend his shot over the bar. Crowd favorite Divine Mindirira almost marked his returner from injury with a goal, but his left footed shot sizzled above the horizontal bar and the stalemate remained. Also coming close with a long range attempt was Brighton Manire. With penalties imminent, the Chiefs switched to keepers pulling out Isa for Kulegani Dube. So to all then again at full time, both sides and frantic instructions before the lottery and Highlanders were faced with keeper Errol Svanda sending his counterpart the wrong way to take the lead. Billy Veremo mastered his never to equalize, and a Brighton Manila shot was just too fast for Kulegani's dive, even though he had guessed it the right way. With Chiefs and Togos Simsere now hard pressed to keep his side alive, he did not disappoint and sent a keeper Svanda the wrong way to square the lottery at 2 all. Andrew Mbeba's badly taken spot kick was saved by Dube, and the Chiefs then went into the driving seat when Felix Moyo sent Svanda the wrong way. Hard pressed to score to keep Bozo's hopes alive, a young Makinon Mshore then summoned Neva to place his kicker to the left with keeper Dube going to the right. It was now 3 all on penalties, though Highlanders had now taken one more. Chiefs then blew the advantage when Manlenko Zikasela's kick was saved by Spanda and the two teams were now 3 all, having taken four kicks apiece. Vice captain Abita Mdua then ushered Bozo back into the lead, and Danny Dekopiri now had to score as anything short would see his side eliminated. Deko hit the nets for the second time in the match to level the penalty scores at 4 all, and now they went into sudden death. Chiefs keeper Kulegani Dube got his fingertips on to substitute Stanley Ngala's rising shot, but Ayanda Ngube's bullet was just too fast for Errol Sibanda's dive. Center back Mbogenidlovo will probably count himself lucky to have seen his spot kicker trickle over the line after Dube had guessed correctly, but Panache Shoko would be the full guy as Zibanda got a hand to his shot and the game was over. 6-5 on penalties and then after a 2 all stalemate, match and Aposo now go into the head with seven other sides to establish their next opponents as their fairy tale season carries on. For the Premier Soccer League at Babafield Stadium in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimbra.